Uh, hello again people, I got interesting video tutorial for you. It is possible to create realistic hair in a sketchbook because I started using a sketchbook. I used to use in the past, but uh, I like both programs, sketchbook and Krita. But sketchbook seems to be very lightweight, so I returned back. In this video tutorial, I must show you what kind of brush I will be using because there is possibility that you can export the brush. This is my custom brush, and what I did, I was, I made it possible to create effect like this. I don't know if, if I pronounce the good or not. Because we got basic brushes. Hopefully I didn't overwrite. Oh no, I... Oh, I forgotten it. I have to show you, because you can still reset. I shouldn't really do that. But you can still export your brushes. This is what I did. Normally you go to program files, Autodesk, uh, sketchbook. Uh, where is, where did I go? Wait a minute, where is this catalog? Oh, I didn't notice. Uh, in a preset folder, you can save. I don't know what would happen because I didn't restart program. I didn't restart application. Also, when you manipulate flow, when you decrease value flow, brush will not hold, will not smudge to the end. I have to change shape to show you. It all depends how high a setting flow is. This is important too. All, the most important is what kind of shape. If you use a proper shape, you can create hair effect. Hair effect. Sorry for my English, I wasn't sure if I was pronouncing this English word properly. It all depends what texture. I will use different texture. It's not very good, that one. What about... Uh, what about this? This looks promising. But the only thing which I don't like, uh, what about if I use uh, instead of shape like a texture? This one should be okay. Oh, this this shouldn't be used. And I'm thinking people, this, this is the best shape for creating realistic hair, that one. But you also got advanced option, change option to sharp, so you should receive more realistic effect. Let's check with, this is what I uh, did. Uh, this looks better. I think what I done. I have to check some settings. Uh, I can't remember what uh, what exactly I used. 
Yeah, okay, so I won't change any settings here. Oh, maybe that one. As you can see, we see no shape. But when I go that way, I have to check if we got a location. We have location, people. This should help you. Also, really, really pay attention what the value of the flow setting is. Not everything I like in this application. Let's export this. Higher smudge brush. Uh, what I wanted to do, I will copy my presets to catalog. And I will restart application. I have to see what happens if I go that way. Because I'm working on one of the animations which I done in 2018 but I strongly believe that animation could be better. Oh, a little bit too slow. What should I done? Rotation? Maybe I will leave rotation as it is. Give me a few seconds, so I will choose uh, the best brush. Oh, that one should be okay. Oh, little bit better. This is a lot better. Gives me a uh, more realistic F effects. Oh, this looks a lot better. But the only downside is doesn't as much it doesn't work perfect but it is still looking well you see how corners are looking this is what i was looking for to make the uh, corners of the hair looking more realistic later on what i will use i will tell you in next video tutorial how to color hair because I work on animation, but I want this animation to look perfect. Because this is all the animation. Okay, I will have to quick application. To see what happens. Uh, I will overwrite a couple of the old projects. Because in next video tutorial, I must show you how to use option in one of the brushes, which I modified uh, option darken, but this will be in next video.